What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the new match pass. We're going to be doing a breakdown of the two players that come within the match pass. That's the value match pass and the premium match pass. Doing a training guide for them, the best build and a couple of tips and tricks of how to train up a monster centre back because he's not down as a centre back but we'll show you that in a second. And also, we are going to be going through whether it's worth actually getting the value on premium match passes or sticking with the free one. Because there are a couple of players you can get with the, with the five star, right? So let's crack on. We're going to hide this webcam here to show you. As usual, you've got your regular match pass. We've already been well underway in our battle to get all of this unlocked. And we've got the regular match pass that's going to give you the all-important five star nominating contract, which will enable you to get any of the new players, a lot of people talking about this guy, I mean personally there's just so many good attacking midfielders in the game now that he probably wouldn't get in my squad, but he's still a decent player, you also have Muani, and of course you have Antonio Silva who's probably my pick of the players with Gravan Birch coming up second, so yeah there's some very nice 5 star nominating contracts there, I won't say that there are, there are any as good as Bellingham, but if you do have a nominating contract or two, just wasting away, you might as well sign one of these players because they will be beasts for you if you've got a nice Road to Glory squad. If you are a newcomer, of course, these guys are a must sign if you want to improve your squad because they're way better than the standard cards, okay? But the big question, I suppose, will be on the value match pass. And I'm not going to focus too much on the rewards because, listen, you should have no problem getting the trainers now, the XP trainers and stuff like that. There should be no real problem getting those. I mean, if you kind of spam the events and you release players and you use your GP uh, to do that, I will do a video on that very soon. Um, but you basically, with the match pass, if you are going to be going down that route, I'm after pressing the wrong button here, sorry lads, but if you are going down that route with the unlock, right, it's going to cost you 500 to unlock the value match pass and 1,000 to unlock the premium match pass, right? So the value match pass is going to give you an extra few bits and pieces. It's going to give you coins back as well. So I think you get about, what is it, 300 coins back or 200 coins back, I think. So if you spend 500 coins to get the value match pass, you actually get 200 back. So it's only costing you a net of 300 coins, really, because you start to unlock coins with the value and the premium one. You also get an extra five star um, with these value match pass and premium match pass as well. So as you see there, we've got 100 coins, 150 coins, 200 coins, and I think that's it. I think it's 200 coins and uh, the premium match pass is 300, I think. So the value match pass is probably the most bang for your buck, right? The big attraction of these, especially if you're starting off, is that if you do have never bought, if you've never bought one of these match passes before, you do get 50% off. I'm not too sure when that expires, but I think it's still for your very first one. And with these, these are the biggest attraction of it. So you are actually going to be getting all of the rewards that you see there. And with the value match pass, you're going to be getting Mudrik, who plays for Chelsea, and this guy who's an absolute beast. We're going to have a look at his build in a second, Diakete. This guy is from Lille. He plays down as a right back, but he is definitely a better centre back if you want a fast, mobile Kounde slash Timber slash Cardoba alternative. If you missed out on any of those best cards that they released. So the question is, lads, without beating around the bush too much and making this as short and sweet as possible... Is Mudrik worth getting, right? Well, we're actually going to show you here his build, okay? So we're going to show you his build here, which is over on eFootballDB.com. And we have trained him up as follows. 5 into shooting, 8 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, and 10 into lower body. And that is going to give us a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 90 balance, 90 dribbling, and 92 ball control player that's going to be a super sub he does have super sub which is a huge thing on this card because it means that he is going to be an impact player he also has one touch pass he also has dip and shot he has soul control double touch he's got everything that you could want stamina is a bit of a concern with him but i would definitely be turning him into a roman flank similar to the premium messi that's out there you can get a hundred speed and acceleration pretty much and really good ball control bring him on in the last 20 minutes or start him for the first 20 25 minutes in the game and he will be a beast for you i would definitely use him as a super sub right the other player that we're going to look at is a little bit better i think and he is obviously going to cost you a little bit more now he's down as a right back and a lot of people that will auto allocate this guy will make a mistake with him he does have brilliant player skills his blocker area superiority heading and interception and man marking 
If you can throw on acrobatic clearance on this guy, as well as slide tackle, I think you've got the ultimate centre back. Yes, he can play centre back, right? And I'm going to show you why you should play him centre back. He goes to a 95 overall as a centre back, and these are the stats. So we're literally just going to pop in 17 into defending, 7 into aerial strength, and 1 into dexterity. With Ten Hag as your manager, you were going to have 80 speed, 80 acceleration, and 85 jump with 85 physical contact, and all his defense stats are going to be plus two there as well. If you don't have Ten Hag, you will just not be able to get that 80 speed because Ten Hag gives a plus speed one boost, and then obviously the manager boost, right? If you're using any other manager, it's just going to be a plus two manager boost. But this guy is insane, lads. If you are using a player like this as your mobile, versatile center back, such as Kunde, or a player that's kind of small, this guy hits every mark that you could possibly want. So I definitely do recommend him using him if you do get the premium match pass. It's a thumbs up or a thumbs down if I was to, ask, to be asked... For a thousand coins, I probably don't know what I go for it. Mudrick, again, you got a lot of fast, pacey wingers that you can get for the GP. Um, this guy is pretty decent, lads. He's a very unique card with a lot of player skills and can play centre back. He goes to a 95 as a centre back, even though his card says, you know, different. Um, but yeah, he is he is a very good player. So yeah, it's a fairly okay match pass, lads, especially. I would probably skip it this time though, because if you have got a fairly good player, I mean, if you've got Kunde or Timber or any of those boys that can play a versatile uh, position for you as centre back, Diakete is kind of ruled out. And then Mudrik, there's so many wingers that are just pacey. But it's hard to say no to a 90 plus speed 100 and acceleration 100 or 99 with Mudrik. So, and you're going to be getting your five stars as well. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's not the worst match pass, but it's definitely not the best one. So, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.